Hi, I'm Sean Olson. This is a demonstration of some of the features in Wallworm's Corvex version 1.62. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a wall surrounding a city with a unique uh, shape without a lot of fuss in a very parametric fashion. To start with, I'm going to draw a spline in the scene, and we're going to draw it in a way that would be a little bit uh, challenging in traditional workflows to create a wall that had tiling textures and was seamless and easy to edit down the road. Let's assume this is the outer wall of some fortress or some small town. I'm going to choose this Corvex object that I already have here and I'm going to tell it to use an existing spline in the scene. If I first add this you'll see that it goes from not to not to not. That's not what I want. I want it to use the interpolation. The next thing I want to do is set this wall to a uh, much thicker distance. In this case I'm going to use a specific value 128 and I want the wall to be 512 units tall. Let's make this wall a little bit thicker demonstrate some of the other features down the road. The next thing we want to do is we want to have another wall that goes along here however this one will be steps. So we're going to create another Corvex object and in this case I'm going to choose wall. I'm going to use a negative height for this one or a negative width and this one is going to be negative 128. I'm going to add existing spline and choose the spline we already have in here and again I need to use interpolation so now it follows along here. Now the useful thing about that is that because this spline is controlling both of these walls any edits I need to make to this is simply a result of editing that spline. To make it more uh, impressive, we're going to first tell this wall to be a steps from the bottom to the top. So the height of this one to begin with, we're going to choose zero, and we want to add stepping to this. And every step is going to be 16 units. And now you can see that it goes along all the way up to the top. And if I want to change the step size a little bit, I can do that along here and there we have each one is 14 units less than the last and the top one is a little bit different. I'm going to add some mapping and this is some of the new effects that we have in the recent versions of Corbex. Um, we can control uh, the mapping and texturing a little bit more robustly than in the past. And in this case I have um, some textures on these blocks down here that I want to reuse in this, in this example. If I want all of the textures to be the same material, all, all sides of the Corvex object, I can add a material from any object I pick in the scene. In this case, I'm going to choose this block here. And you can see that texturing has been added to this. It's not the right scale that I want, but we can control that across the whole object simply by changing the values on this. In this case, I don't want to match the height. I'm going to choose 256 as the value that I want for this. Also, I want the UVs to flow along here instead of being aligned to the world along the top. I'm simply going to tell it to use the from side option. So now you can see that all the UVs are flowing along the tops of those walls. And if I want a different texture along the top, specifically, let's say I want a brick, a brick texture that I've got down here. I can unlock the IDs, set these all to 1, so they're all the same along the, the whole thing, except I want the tops to use this texture. So now I have bricks along the tops of these, and if I want to make it so that it always flows one to one across the side, I can change the top and bottom to no longer, I want it to match the width so no matter what from if I change the width of this wall the UV will be one it will flow exactly one one time across the top no matter what the width is so if I go up here and change the width you're gonna see that the tops are staying with it no matter what and we're gonna go back to our, our wall here and we're gonna reuse that texture from down below on the sides 
and we might want to use the same one on the top if we want. And there's our object. Now the UVs down here are a different scale on the walls. That's simple. My UVs down here on the sides were set to 256. I'm going to use the same scale on the top and tell it to use 256 and now it's identical. So now we have a, a wall made of tiling textured blocks. Now I wanted to show you how easy it is to edit something like this after the fact. Um, we may find down the road that uh, that something has to change in the layout of this map and if you want to change this system here because both of these objects are using the same spline all I need to do is go to one of the vertices I'm going to choose this vertex specifically and if I move that vertex around it's going to change the whole system and the the tiling remains intact the scale the UVs aren't going to stretch it'll just work just fine so if I need to move that over here there we go it's still going to work just fine and I don't need to take um, hours recreating this system I just move a single spline and that makes it a lot more convenient for editing uh, systems like this and I want to point out one new utility that was added in the latest version of Corvex and that's the ability to create splines from certain areas of your Corvex object in this case um, let us say that we wanted to add a, a spline along the top here or the second side so let's say we wanted to need to make a spline across the back side here uh, to create another Corvex object or to use it for, to drive other systems or entities uh, we can simply go down here uh, to the option for creating a new spline and if I create that it's going to create a spline along the top here and to see how and what this might do we could create a new Corvex object to place along the top there and this object I want to get the settings um, from another Corvex object let's get the settings from this one but I don't want to use interpolation on this one add existing spline and now I have this spline here and on this one we want to put it on the outside and we might do step size and now we have another set of steps that go along the outside here or if we don't want a step and we just want this to be another wall we're just using that other spline that was created up there and again we can get a material from other objects by picking them I want to thank New World Interactive for letting me use the assets used here uh, these assets are from the game Insurgency too. it's a really neat game you should check it out and this has been a demonstration of using Wallworm Corvex 1.62. You can learn more about Corvex by going to wallworm.com. Thank you and have a good day.